Hey, how did I get my shrinker stretcher mounted to my Eastwood 27 Elite bead roller stand? How did I do it? Check it out. Bam. How did I do this? Let me show you. It's so simple. You can mount anything with it. You can mount. I'm going to use this to mount my vise. I'm going to use it to mount my, my stretcher over here. You're going to love this one. Very cool. Check it out. Tell me what you think. So let's, uh, let's mark this. You got this here, mark center for that, mark center for that. And then uh, let's see, we have enough room for the pipe there. Yeah, we probably do. Okie dokie, that should be enough. Cool. And then we got to mark this here, cut this off. Switch over to a blade. There we go. Okie dokie. I don't have my advice yet. I need to order that. I guess I should order that this week. go all right let's see this gives us plenty of space here gonna love that Woo! so now we need to figure out like how far that needs to go down right let's make it even four inches around cut up blade which really works pretty good honestly I mean there's no reason to not use it other than a chop saw blade would be much easier to use. You know, that brand that I want is the, uh, I think it's called Evolution. They seem to be pretty legit. My buddy has one and he loves it. You know, he swears by it. He says it's the, the cat's meow and he runs a metal fab shop. So he's like, man, like these things are just so amazing. Just like they told you in high school, always wear protection. Now, we're going to weld that onto there. Just go throw it in the bucket. Go put some water on to cool it off, and we'll try it.
right, there we go with that one. Let's try it out. Boop, beep. Let's check it out. It's nice and solid. You can't move it around. Many other things you can do with it. All right, let's check it out, man. So, set this right in here. We'll just kind of haphazardly stick that there. I think that's probably a 5-8. Is that what size that is? Yeah. So this is a shrinker. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, this is a stretcher. Uh, yeah, it's gonna work really good. So much easier than on my on top of my toolbox. I mean, I won't have to do any metal shrinking and stretching until I build my next project car. But this is gonna work out great. There we go. Nice and simple, solidly mounted. See, I can put all the force I want. Really, that's gonna work out like a charm. Definitely gotta do this. All you need is inch and five eighths DOM tubing and a little bit of imagination. And then you can mount anything to your Eastwood stand. You know, for me or any kind of stand like that, you know, this is just so, this is gonna be for my vise. So now I can order a vise because I had no place to put one. So I'm gonna put all, I'm gonna make a rack over there where I can slide all the different tools that'll be mounted on here. Will be a, there'll be a stand over there to where I can just slide them in and out. You know, it's gonna be so nice. Now I can finally have my vise. I can get a, I don't know, what do y'all think? Should I get a bigger grinder? This grinder was originally my dad. So I broke his, his grinder and like any good person who use a tool, if you break it, you buy something as good or better. So I bought him a better one. He had a cheap one. And uh, so this was one that I bought uh, to replace it. it. You know, it's only, uh, it's a, looks like it's a three and a half amp. It's a not very strong though, so I may go with a bigger one. I've had this thing since I built my first Mustang, which was 25 years ago, so it's definitely been a, a, a workhorse, but anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Tell me, well, what would you mount on here? So I'm gonna have, that's my, that's my stretcher. I'm gonna have my shrinker. I'm gonna have one for my grinder. This one's gonna be for a vise that I'm gonna order today from Amazon. They're like 170 for this forged, uh, vice, it's like a four inch grinder, I mean four inch bike. I don't know, should I get a four inch one or should I get a six inch one? I haven't really decided on that. You know, the six inch one's like 370 and the four inch one is like 170. So I don't really know which one I have. Either one is bigger than what I'm using. So I'm really just gonna need it to hold stuff to cut because I don't have a shear, uh, but I'll also use it to, to put stuff together. So who knows and grind stuff because I'm gonna have that uh, that chop saw when I build my next car anyway, so that, that big evolution chop saw, hopefully I'll be able to get one by then. We'll see, I'd like to try one of those out. 
Anyway, check it out. <laughs> Click like and follow. Tell me what you think.